Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC on Vanilla FM and it's the end of 2023, sorry, 2033, 2034 and as you can see we have finished 10th in the Premier Division, two places higher than last year with a prize, cash prize of £21 million. Pounds. Now if you want to see what that really looks like in terms of European places, if you go to home, look at the league table. We finished with the same points as Aston Villa with four goals behind. So really, really, really slim margins for this. Now, these are the allocated European spots at the moment, but uh, they haven't done the coefficient calculations yet, which means every, uh, I think it's like the two, two top countries get some additional spots. Um, so I think I mean, the UK always gets them, right? We're the top European country. So I think we're going to be safe and um, we're going to get one or two extra spots. But I don't, we, we're definitely not going to get three. So I think we lost out on European spots by potentially two points or potentially four goals, depending how many spots the uh, UK gets. Uh, for those European competitions. So, two points. We could have finished with 59 points and we would have been ninth or eighth and we would have had a shot of those additional spots at the end of the season. Now, our run form was pretty good towards the end, but we did lose against Brentford. And if you look at the table, Brentford was that club to beat. If we had beaten Brentford or even was it we drew against Aston Villa is that right no Bournemouth where's Bournemouth Born Bournemouth is down here but even those additional points against Bournemouth two points would have would have got us with 59 or beating Brentford we would have finished 59 and they would have finished 57 so that would have been enough to get onto those last spots for the European competition so we're missing out by very very slim margins which is very upsetting because I wanted to be playing European competitions in this next season and we're not going to be able to but I think the following season we might um, let's see what else we can get on here in terms of Ooh, also something I was keeping an eye on was the player ah we missed that on Oh, three goals it's quite it's quite a margin still so but our striker missed out on goal goal score of the season uh with three goals uh we were so close and we didn't do it here we go Ooh, diogo zupo our goalkeeper got a young player of the season let's just get through this meeting i don't think there is much to see there The Port are delighted, and I am delighted too. Now, next season, we're going to have a 44 million budget for transfers. Ooh, let's sell. I always like selling clauses because we tend to lose out on them if we don't. So, let's get those. Uh, not the paying ones, though. Um, I never, I never buy the the the, uh, the ones where we have to. To pay. Oops, I missed that on that. I don't know what that was. Um, yeah, so well, there is to see. Okay, that's no surprise that we missed out a little bit on broadcasting revenue. I'm not sure why that is, but we made some uh, big advances on the others. And then down here is what I like to look at. So we broke some records this year with the highest ever assist in the season for Stan Weavers. I think he also missed out on... If you go to the league again. Stats. Overview. Uh, oh, one assist away from being the, f uh, the most assists this season. That's a shame. And then we had some big transfer um, fees this season. I think we might have some more um, in the summer coming up. Fan player of the season, Emra, with Diogo uh, Zupel, the younger young player of the season and signing of the season. 
Goal of the season goes to Stan. It's a shame we can't see that goal. Top goal scorer and most assists. We've already talked about that. Emirates goal uh, with the most player of the match and highest average rating for the goalkeeper. Uh, oh, competition awards. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We knew about that. Okay. Ah, corporate has gone up by three to three percent. Another hundred thousand fo followers on social media. That's just an indication of how um, valuable our club is, I think. Um, plans for next season, I think we're going to be fine. We're not going to be relegated. Yeah, okay. That's it. Let me just... Uh, switch on a silent mode for my PC. There we go. Training camp, South Africa sounds good. Let's do that. Confirm. Okay, and here we go. This is the bit I was hoping for. A stadium expansion costing 5 million. We're now in Ashton Gate again. Uh, we were there last season. Only doing the last few games in our own stadium. So the new capacity is going to be nearly 15,000, which is pretty good. It's still going to be the smallest stadium in the league. But if we can do incremental increases, that is fine. Not sure if there is anything else much to show you. Uh, got some a good number of call-ups for international now, and I think we'll leave it as a short episode, just to say we're plowing through again uh, to try and get those European spots next season. Uh, one thing is that um, Zugal, is it Zugal, Zugaj. Um, has requ requested a transfer, so we might get that release clause triggered if um, any club is interested. Because he said he wants to be playing in European competitions, and so did we. So uh, I don't blame him for that. Got some new deals, sponsorships, which is good. Scouting budget's gone back up. Okay, well, um, well, just to keep a short update, nothing really happened, so I didn't want to make it a massive episode. So what I'm going to do now is plow on and do the summer transfers, and I will come back and update you on those in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching until the end, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.